fat, that's my baby. There's no point in drawing us out any longer than necessary. For the past several months, I've heard nothing but complaints from the Raw superstars and fans about the way Eric Bischoff has vacated damn near every title on Raw. So, Eric, I'm giving you a chance to come on out to this very ring right now and explain your actions. to remind you that you stand on dangerous ground here tonight. So what do you have to say for yourself? Well, Mr. McMahon, as everyone knows, I used to be in charge of WCW, the most dominant force in the sports entertainment industry. What was it? 88 weeks in a row that we beat this very show in the ratings? 88 straight weeks. Yeah. And we all know how that turned out. I used to be the undisputed king of sports entertainment. I take exception to that. And now look at me. I became nothing more than a lackey. Under the thumb of WWE Board of Directors and the almighty Vince McMahon. Well, I'm sick of it. I've been sick of it for a long time. And about six months ago, I decided to do something about it. I was approached by someone who promised me enough financial backing to raise a new sports entertainment empire that would rival the mighty WWE. In exchange for his support, all I had to do was handicap Raw in any way I could, while at the same time, Lend my genius to this new venture of yours. Genius? So I stripped the Raw superstars of their titles and put them in the most grueling matches conceivable. And all the while, my partner was making deals and targeting the WWE for a hostile takeover. Now you're probably wondering why I've chosen to reveal this master plan tonight. Well, quite frankly, it's so close to fruition that not even the great Vince McMahon can stop us now. So it is my great pleasure to introduce you to my partner. He is a true titan of business and sports entertainment. Save it! It's JBL, right? What? John Bradshaw Layfield, the WWE Champion. That's your partner, am I right? Mr. McMahon's one step ahead of Bishop. You see, I've known about your pathetic little scheme for a month, Eric. Did you seriously think you could just start vacating Raw titles without me taking an interest in why you were doing it? I think Mr. McMahon may be miles ahead of Bischoff. I've already contacted SmackDown General Manager Theodore Long, and although JBL doesn't even know it yet, this titan of business and sports entertainment, as you call him, has been stripped of his WWE title and fired from SmackDown. I know JBL's on his way here, and I also knew you two had planned some dramatic unveiling for your so-called master plan. Well, JBL's gonna get a bit more drama than he bargained for when he arrives here tonight. You see, I've got someone waiting for JBL in the parking lot. The man who won an opportunity to challenge Triple H for the World Heavyweight title at WrestleMania. Raw's number one contender is going to meet JBL in the parking lot? What does that mean, JR? I don't think he's there to roll out the red carpet, King. I thought it might be a good warm-up for Raw's title contender to take on a world champion before WrestleMania. So when JBL shows up here tonight, he's going to find himself in a parking lot brawl. 
And by my watch, JBL should be arriving right about now. You, you, you can't be serious. You, you can't do this to me. I'm Eric Bischoff. I, I'm the general manager of Raw. I, I'm the only man to take on Vince McMahon and win. Eric, in case you haven't figured it out by now, the only thing you are is you're fired. And a minute too soon. Thank you, Mr. McBee. But that's not all. There's going to be a parking lot brawl between JBL and Raw's number one contender. JBL may be a true titan of business, but he's about to find out what happens when he sticks his 10-gallon head into Raw's business. And there isn't a damn thing Bischoff can do about it anymore. Time comes when we must stand and fight against the odds. And the size of the opponent can make no difference. To be a real champion is the ultimate yeah. test. Yeah. To win is the ultimate goal. I came to crush anybody in my way. They get hit with the chin music. Punk straight getting it. My team versus your team ain't a thing. Take it to the ring. Extreme. We can go from night till morn. Wild out. Everybody get it on. I catch you out with the pole. To my man and watch some earth slam you. We number one and we bad for your health. You got no help. We snatching those belts. I knock you out of this fucking boy. Cause I came to crush, kill, destroy. Crush, crush, kill, kill, destroy, 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 destroy. Crush, crush, kill, kill, destroy, destroy. SmackDown a lesson about what happens when you try to mess with the dominant brand of sports entertainment. And Vince McMahon gave me his personal assurance that there will be no more interference from SmackDown until after WrestleMania. Which is just how I want it. I've shed blood, sweat, and tears to get where I am today. The World Heavyweight title is the crown jewel in our business. And it brings out the best in every superstar that comes near it. Eric Bischoff could never understand that. 
And that's one reason why he's the ex-general manager of Raw. Amen to that. disagree with this joker about damn near everything so i'm as shocked as anyone else to realize that we're on the same page this time this is the crown jewel of our business this is the ultimate prize it's the last thing on every superstar's mind when they go to sleep at night and the first thing on their mind when they wake up I have to admit he's right, King. If the World Heavyweight title isn't on your mind, you're in the wrong business. And the single ultimate reason this title means so much is because it's around the waist of me. The game. Every loser in the back thinks that if he can wear this title, he might one day be good enough to be mentioned in the same breath as Triple H. Imagine that, JR. Who wouldn't want to be mentioned alongside an all-time great like Triple H? Oh, please. But listen to me very carefully. This title is a part of me, and I am a part of it. Without the title, my life has no meaning. Without me, this title is just a belt. Yeah. You may have your opportunity against me at WrestleMania, but you'll never beat me for this title. You'll never take away that part of me, so take a good look now, because this is the closest you will ever come to it as long as I'm around. And why? Because I'm that damn Good. Oh my gosh! Triple H just knocked him out cold! What a noble champion. I tell you what, Triple H makes me sick. He just won the title, and I already can't wait to see somebody take it away from him, damn it! We've only been without a general manager for a week, and already Raw is turning into a madhouse! There's a hurricane coming through. <laughs> well, look who it is. It's the Great Green Tomato. What's up, kid? Now listen up, you dastardly villains. The Hurricane is here to bring you to justice and truth, honor, and integrity to the World Heavyweight Championship. <laughs> oh, yeah? And how are you going to do that, exactly? By relieving you of that title, of course. With justice on my side and my hero powers at my disposal, an evildoer like you doesn't stand a chance. Kid's got a lot of heart. Yeah, but it's not pumping any blood to his brain. Hold on a second. You want a world heavyweight title match? You. Against me. For this? Man, I, I don't think I'm ready to take on a superhero tonight. At least not by myself. Tell you what. How about you and your sidekick there take on me and Ric Flair? Right here, 
right now. Surely you are familiar with the concept of a superhero team-up, Citizen Contender. For one night only, I will take you on as my Hera sidekick and join forces with you to defeat Triple H's evil schemes. The battle is joined. There's the Hurricane and his sidekick in the GM's office. But who's in the GM's chair, JR? I have no idea, King. It's not Eric Bischoff. That's for damn sure. Oh, no! You've got to be kidding me. Surprise! I bet you two didn't expect to see the coach in the general manager's chair. You're the new general manager of Raw? What's up with that? Well, Mr. McMahon likes to say that I'm the interim general manager and that he's still looking for a permanent replacement. But I think we all know that he's just saying that to smooth over some bruised egos. I mean, where's he going to find a better GM than the coach? All right. Well, if you're done talking about yourself, let's talk about Triple H and what he did to me last week. I was just getting to that. Don't rush the coach or I'll strip you of your title shot. Ha! Just kidding. The coach is famous for his sense of humor. Now, I know you two gentlemen are skeptical, but let me make a couple of matches for you as a show of good faith. Now, I can't put you and Triple H against each other just yet, or it would spoil WrestleMania for the coach's fans. But I will give you a shot tonight against Triple H's right-hand man, Ric Flair, in a submission match. And as for you, Hurricane, I'm going to give you exactly what you were looking for last week. A world heavyweight title match tonight against Triple H himself. A title match? 
What is he thinking? Holy career opportunity for Citizen Coach. What happens when I beat Triple H tonight and win the World Heavyweight title? Surely you don't expect me to fight my sidekick at WrestleMania. You beat Triple H for the World Heavyweight title? <laughs> you're a funny guy, Hurricane. Sometimes I think you're almost as funny as me. Now move along, gentlemen. The coach is a busy man, and you've got matches to prepare for. What an absolute jackass. What has Raw done to deserve that moron as a general manager?
surprised that Triple H and Flair couldn't keep their noses out of this. Of course, with noses like theirs, it's tough for them to keep them out of just about everything. Come on, Jericho. Get in there. What's the matter, Jericho? Did you get hurt taking a little tumble out of the ring? Were we too rough for you? Well, let me tell you something. You're gonna get it a lot worse than that when I give you the first World Heavyweight title opportunity after WrestleMania. So let me ask you. Was it worth a little beating? Or do you wanna head home and cry yourself to sleep? Absolutely worth it, Triple H. And don't misunderstand me. I can take whatever you dish out. But if you try and double cross Y to J, you're never going to make it to WrestleMania, Junior. I can't believe that Chris Jericho would sell his soul to that devil, Triple H. At least he got a good price for it, JR. As long as Triple H retains the title at WrestleMania, Jericho's the next number one contender.
WrestleMania, in case you've forgotten, the coach is the general manager of Raw. Interim general manager. You beat me to it, JR. And that means the coach calls the shots around here. So Jericho, Flair, get the hell out of my ring before I lose my temper. And believe me, you don't want to be in the ring with the coach when I lose my temper. Looks like Coach fell off more than he can chew. I can't say I'm sorry to see it, but I am sorry to say that it looks like Triple H's henchmen are still running the show here on Raw. What did Coach expect? Talking to two former world champions like that. If you want to order Raw superstars around like that, you'd better be able to back it up. Say, that gives me an idea. What are you talking about, King? I'll tell you later, JR. But first, I've got to give Mr. McMahon a call. <laughs> <laughs> 